welcome to Ashley's Tipsy Kitchen. I'm Ashley and today is Tipsy Tuesday. So today's Tipsy Tuesday is dedicated to all of you bros out there. I say that because it's a little bit of an inside joke in my household. My husband and his friends refer to each other as bros. And they've all been really getting into dark liquors lately. So whiskeys, bourbons, scotches. And a good friend of his actually introduced him to this red stag. It's a bourbon whiskey and it is black cherry. So it's gonna be a little bit sweeter and it finishes with a cherry flavor to it. So um, in dedication to him and his friends, I decided to come up with a cocktail that included this right here. Um, so it is a play on a sidecar. So we are actually going to be calling it the bro car. So enjoy if you wanna learn how to make it. It's very simple. So we're just gonna take a mixing tin. We're gonna add just a little bit of ice in there, not a lot. And then we're also going to add a couple of dark pitted frozen cherries. Um, now it's easy to find these, they're in the freezer section of pretty much any grocery store. And they're going to help add some more of that cherry flavor to the drink and it's actually going to turn it a really pretty pink color. Not super manly, I know, but whatever. You know me, I'm an ex-bartender, I love my garnishes. So we're actually going to start with the red stack and we're going to add two and a half ounces into our mixing tin. Now this is going to be a very stiff drink, um, so if you're not a big fan of darker liquors and you're wanting to get into them, this is actually a great sort of introduction because it's not just straight up, but it gives you a lot of that really great flavor. So we'll go ahead and pour that right on in. Now this is also going to have some Cointreau in it. Cointreau is an orange flavored liqueur, and this is going to have an ounce and a quarter. Go ahead and put that on in. Now typically with a sidecar, it has lemon juice in it, but I really felt like for this, lime actually worked a little bit better. It kind of goes with that cherry lime sort of flavor, um, but you have to be careful with limes because they are very, very assertive. So you really don't want to use much, maybe a half of an ounce at the most. Um, I like to use just one wedge of lime, um, although if it's a little bit drier, you can definitely balance it out. Um, but you don't want for that lime flavor to kind of take over the drink. Just want to bring some acidity into it. Alrighty, get every last drop out of there. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and put the lid on. That's all we need in there. Give it a good shake. Now you see your mixing tin, it actually becomes frosted. And that's what you want to see. You know that you've shaken it long enough if you see that nice frost on the outside. Otherwise, keep on going because you want to really incorporate that ice and get everything really well blended. So in our glass, we are going to go ahead and fill this up with just ice. Ooh, careful, they are getting away from us, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, and then I'm also going to add a couple of these cherries, again, for garnish because they look really pretty and they will um, help keep the drink cool because, well, they're frozen. Alrighty, so go ahead and just pour this on in. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty, everybody out there, go have yourself a bro car and enjoy Tipsy Tuesday. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and um, do that so that you can see us every week here at Tipsy Tuesday. You can also get this recipe and other amazing drink recipes at ashleystipsykitchen.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.